Hello again, I am Zarkoon, this is World of Warships Legends, and today I have a video for you in the new Tier 7 Premium Soviet Cruiser, or Russian Cruiser, Kutuzov. And that, I believe, is the correct way to pronounce it, Kutuzov, with the emphasis just like that. So I'm going to try to pronounce it that way, since I believe that is the correct way, and we'll see how I do. Anyway, what can I say that hasn't already been said about this particular ship? Probably not a whole lot. And I'll tell you right off the bat that this game is not a super high damage game. I think the second or third game I had in this ship, I got 187,000 damage, and it felt relatively easy to do that. But this is going to be more of an average type damage output for this ship, so you can sort of get an idea of what to expect. And there is going to be an enemy in this particular game who is also driving the Kutuzov, and that enemy player is going to demonstrate very nicely for us how to not play the ship. So, of course, as you probably already know, this ship is a long-range sniper. On my build, I am running a level 10 Kuznetsov as commander, and I am using the epic booster of battle propensity flag that grants you an additional 3% bonus to the range of your main guns. So the ship is able to reach out pretty far and hit its targets. It's got very flat shell arcs. Maybe you kind of don't get that when you see the ship shooting out to crazy ranges, but that makes the guns pretty easy to aim and it makes it pretty easy to get the shells on target. Now, this enemy Kutuzov over there, he is pushing in to this cap rather aggressively, and he is going to pay a hefty, hefty price for it. Meanwhile, I notice this Vanguard and this other battleship approaching quite aggressively, also toward the same cap. I launch torpedoes on the indicator, thinking that the vanguard is going to sail in a straight line, but apparently he is not that foolish, so all of those torpedoes are unfortunately going to miss, and I have got to get out of here. Now, if you notice, I was still detected in the smoke screen after... I was, you know, concealed inside of it, and I only dropped detection when I got around the island and there was something solid blocking the vanguard's line of sight toward me. More on that in a second. Here is the enemy Kutuzov again. He is giving me a flat broadside, so I switch quickly to AP and launch a salvo. And there he hits me with a salvo of AP, but me being angled, you heard that wonderful, wonderful sound of shells bouncing off of my armor, and I scored a citadel hit on the enemy Kutuzov. So that proves pretty definitively that the Kutuzov's armor is capable of bouncing AP shells from cruisers with the same caliber guns, so... It can do that against enemy Katuzovs, enemy Chapayevs, Shores, Edinburghs, Fijis, Belfast, Belfast, why did I say it like that, Belfast, uh, etc. So, good to know, probably is not going to be a whole, you know, it's probably not going to be very effective against battleships or Heavy cruisers with 203 millimeter guns, we'll see, haven't tried it yet. Anyway, back to the smoke screen discussion. This is something I haven't heard anybody in their videos mention. And that is the concealment. Your detectability in smoke is, I believe, seven kilometers on the ship. 
So even when you deploy smoke, you have to be reasonably far away from the enemies, or they are just going to spot you inside the smoke anyway. And I have run into issues where I am sitting in a smoke cloud and I get spotted out of nowhere because a destroyer has wandered within seven kilometers of my smoke screen. There we take out the enemy Kutuzov and that's that for him. So yeah, I've been spotted inside smoke screens by close destroyers and that is a bit of a problem for this ship. It's possible that the Azerlane Belfast Commander, whose base trait reduces your detectability while firing inside of a smoke screen, would be beneficial to a Kutuzov build if you're interested in that, although I'm not sure exactly how much utility you'd get out of it. Just a thought, you know, food for thought. Anyway, that also has another effect that rather long detectability range when firing inside of a smoke screen. And that effect is I don't think this ship is particularly capable of influencing the outcome of games in a decisive way. Now, can it put out a crap ton of damage on the enemy? Of course it can. I've seen, you know, 200k damage games. I almost had one myself with 187 Okay, and I suspect it will be. It won't be long until I get a 200k plus game in this particular ship. So it can put out a lot of damage, but it really almost necessarily has to be played at long range. The maneuverability is not so great. I've got a rudder shift time on my build of about 5 seconds, so that's fine. It turns relatively quickly, or it starts turning relatively quickly, but the turning circle radius is in the 700 meter range, so it takes a while to turn. And that translates at, you know, close to medium ranges, it's very difficult to dodge incoming fire. The same can be said of many cruisers in the game, I suppose, but it's especially pronounced with this one. At long range, however, it is perfectly capable of dodging incoming fire, especially from enemy battleships. So playing at long range is basically a necessity on this ship if you want to stay alive, which you do. Because if you can stay alive till the end of the game, you can deal damage throughout the game and be more effective that way. So it's a fantastic damage dealer. The fires can really, really take their toll on enemy battleships. So there's influence to be had by simply being a damage dealer. But since you are so far away from the action most of the time, you are going to find it incredibly difficult or even impossible to push into cap circles and claim them for your team. You may be able to defend cap circles from enemies who are contesting them, but you are going to have to rely almost entirely on your team to do all of the spotting for you. Otherwise, you'll have no targets to shoot at. So this ship is very reliant on you know spotting from your teammates and it is very much a long range support ship the damage it does certainly grants you a lot of xp and credits and will probably put you on the top of the leaderboard more often than not as long as you stay alive the whole game and play it reasonably well but that doesn't mean you are contributing vitally to your team in a domination game such as this. For example, I have done quite a lot of damage so far to enemy ships, and I did take a shot at an Akatsuki that nearly finished him off, 
and I did kill an enemy cruiser who was interested in capping C, but other than dealing damage, I'm not responsible for taking any cap circles. I've got a few defender ribbons for defending cap circles. I haven't done any spotting for my team or anything like that. All I've really done is strictly deal damage. And that's what you're going to have to bank on, really, when you're in the Kutuzov. You can deal a lot of damage, but you're very dependent on the rest of your team to take the appropriate actions, that is, cap-cap circles, in order to win the game. And you are mostly there to support them. So, it's very possible that this ship is not going to be as influential on the course of battles as other cruisers can be, especially other cruisers with smoke screens. I've found that in the British cruisers, with their excellent concealment values, it is pretty easy to push into a cap, pop smoke, and take the smoke. I believe when you are firing from smoke in those British cruisers, their concealment range goes up to about 5 kilometers, which is a huge difference, even though it might not sound like it on paper, between the 7 kilometer range that the Kutuzov enjoys, or rather suffers from. So all of that goes into limiting its ability to drastically influence the outcome of a match in the way that you might need to to win games. So that's about it there for this video. This vanguard is about to go down. We end with 128,000 damage. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Got a lot of World of Warships Legends content coming all the time. Thank you again for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.